great days and champagne are beginning to figure frequently for the Briton. We did it, Harry. Did it, mate. It was, it was pretty hard. Robert was giving me, was pushing me pretty hard. But uh, yeah, now the pressure was there. Right? It, was, it was bloody hard work. Uh, but yeah, now we've done it, mate. We've done it. <laughs> Brilliant. New Zealand Championship. First time New Zealand made bikes won a New Zealand Championship. Unreal. Unreal as well was the sight of Joey Dunlop on the Britain. He seemed pleased enough. Yeah. That's not too bad now. Surprised. A slight. Give it a 250. You could even throw it a bit too quick. Yeah. <laughs> the handling, you enjoy the handling. Oh, all right. Turn it on, yeah. yeah. Turn your power low down. Too many wheelies. <laughs> <laughs> too many wheelies. Willie, anyway. Oh, I wouldn't say that, mate. Uh, no, that's good, I enjoy it. It's hard, I rode Honda's like all my life. I got last 13 years. You know, that's the first, really, first time I ever got a chance to run nothing else. For most of those years, mm. Joey's name has been synonymous with the Isle of Man. A circuit that holds a tantalizing fascination for both John and Roberto, along with their respective teams. Uh, I went to New Zealand and we start talking. I asked for one mic. Uh, he said yes. Uh, we organized a small production of uh, maybe 10 pieces. Uh, you can have one. So I would like to do something more and we start to have uh, uh, some kind of relationship in Europe. I buy a, a bus that is useful for everybody on the bike and the team is in Europe for racing. Uh, they come back in the time for in 1993 for Monza, for the Iron Man, so with the bus and all together we went to the races. We started to have a, a certain way of friendship. But at the end, uh, the first bike has arrived. So we are here in the Iron Man racing with three Britons. One is mine and two is by John. It's a big pleasure. 